up, bro? All right, so what I'm looking at here, the slight shift forward. You can see your hips, how they rise just a little bit above your shoulders, okay? And you can see how that bar just comes forward just ever so slightly. But honestly, uh, it looks pretty good. You're maintaining your back angle off the floor so it doesn't change position from here to here, okay? Um, little soft knees on the top, okay? Notice how they kind of shift forward at the top. So get the legs nice and straight. Um, this second rep though was almost perfect, man. You know, I'm looking at the hip crease and the shoulders, making sure that they rise at the same time. Lockout was much more solid. You see how straight your knees are? All right. Fucking solid, man. Super happy with that. Overhead press. Yeah, man, good wrist position. We kind of lose it a little bit. Notice how it kind of shifts back. I'm looking at your hands here, okay? But see how they kind of start? So make sure that those knuckles stay up, all right? And just watch your feet as you press overhead. Just want you to see the weight shift forward, kind of rock on your toes a little bit right there. Just look at that left heel, okay? Just stay nice and balanced. I think when you get your Olympic lifting shoes, a lot of these uh, balance issues are gonna kinda take care of themselves. All right, but overall, this was fucking solid, dude. 170, slinging it around, five sets of three, man. We're fucking getting up there. So this next week, we're gonna hit a heavy single on your squat. Um, and then we're gonna continue the strength process, man. Some incline bench too, as well. We're gonna go back to your cardio and we're gonna build your 75% volume with deadlifts, okay? Um, by the end of this phase, I wanna get you to uh, five by five at 315. All right, man. So let's uh, keep kicking butt and uh, fucking keep being awesome.